Okay, today we are going to learn how to draw a 3D snowman. So you will need your bag of oil pastels and the blue paper that came home in your packet. Now this is what our snowman is going to look like. And you are going to be able to color the hat and the scarf, whatever color or pattern you want. So I have a red and yellow one or turquoise green and yellow. I even did a purple and pink one, but I'm gonna show you how to make your snowman look 3D. So the first thing that you need is your white pastel. Now, you are going to draw the head first, but you need to make sure that you leave room for the hat. And the first is kind of like a big U, but not too big because each of our snowballs needs to be a little bit bigger than the one before. So if we draw a big U kind of at the top of the page, but don't draw the top part because you're gonna put the hat on there. Then you're going to draw the next one, a little bit bigger connected to the head. And then the bottom is it an even bigger one. Now notice it, it starts here, it goes around uh, and connects. So there's my three um, snowballs for my snowman. Now on the left side, we're going to draw white lines but they're going to curve at the same angle that this circle curves. And you want them to stick out farther down at the bottom and shorter at the top. So if you look at my other one, see how it's shorter here and farther down here. And they all curve the way the snowball curves. So here you're gonna make curved lines and a little bit longer each time a little bit longer. Now, you might need to go back and fill in some of that and make it round. There we go. So down here, it comes a little bit farther over and up here, it's a little bit shorter. And you're gonna do that on all three snowballs. So short little curves here and long curves down here, okay? And they have to curve the way that the line curves or it doesn't look like it's 3D, okay? Now, not even. So this one starting to look like 3D, this one starting to look 3D. And then I'm gonna do it on my head, okay? You're not coloring the whole snowball, okay? There. Now, on the other side, you wanna take the blue and we're gonna do it the opposite. So it's gonna be longer up here and smaller down here. So same kind of curves, but the longer curves are at the top and the oops, smaller curves down here. See how, and they go cover up the white. Okay, so it's kind of like a triangle. You're gonna do that here as well. And they curve a little bit the way this, like it, because this side the light is shining, this side the, it's in the shadows, okay? So you do it like that and curve down. Now, because it's the, the, it also curves this way, underneath each of the balls, uh, snowballs is an, another shadow. So this part right at the top, you're just gonna put a little bit of purple right at the top. Right at the top here and right at the top here. Not the whole way down, a little bit of purple. Okay, now let's draw our hat. Now I, since I did blue on here, I think I'm gonna do a um, green and red hat because it's Christmassy and I wanna hang it up for the holidays. So I am gonna do 
a curved hat like a beanie, like this way. And then it goes like this, and this is the folded up part on the beanie. And I'm gonna make stripes on it. I might even do a pom-pom on the top of my hat. So then I'm gonna make his curved hat go like this. And I'm gonna do red and green stripes. So red in between the green. Now you can do whatever pattern you want on your hat if you have a favorite beanie that you want it to. And then it's gonna go like this. And then I'm gonna go back with my green in between and make it a green and red striped hat like that. And then to make the pom-pom on the top, you just do kind of like grass. But I think it might have red and green in the pom-pom there. Now, I'm gonna make this so that we can tell that there's a ridge there. Because you couldn't see that before. Okay, then I'm gonna take my black and I'm going to draw the eyes. Two eyes and the mouth, I'm gonna leave room for my, and I did the mouth not just in a straight line, I kinda did it like a smile. Now, the, oh, I forgot to draw on the scarf, so I'm gonna do a red scarf, because that way it'll cover up over that. So I'm gonna just do down like this, and I'm gonna color it in, the whole scarf and it is flying out like this. And then the other part, and I'm gonna color that into, this is gonna be solid red scarf. And the same with this. Now, it needs some fringe on the end. Now, if you don't like fringe on your scarf, that's okay, you don't have to put the fringe, but I'm gonna put it. It's gonna go like this. Okay, now I need my orange for my carrot nose. And a carrot is usually a triangle, so I'm gonna just draw a triangle and color it in orange. Okay, now he needs some stick arms. So I'm gonna draw one like this, and he's gonna have some branch fingers. Maybe one out that way. And this other one is gonna go this way. Now on my other picture, it went behind the scarf because it was blowing in the wind. So if I want my arm to go behind the scarf, I have to hop over it and I wanna just draw right through it. And then I'm gonna draw my hands like that. And I might make it a little thicker because it's a bigger branch so it sticks out, this one too, there. And I need to put the buttons down the front. So you, depending on how big your um, snowballs are, I did three and two, but you might not be able to fit that many. Now I'm also going to draw the ground where the snow is. So here's my snow, and I'm gonna make, take it all the way up to him. Snow. Now, I also want to put in a little shadow because the shadow is on this side. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda make a little snowman like this. And you can't see the whole thing because it's off the page, but here's the bottom snowball, here's the middle snowball, and his head would be out here. And then we're just gonna color it in a little bit with the blue because that's what we did with the, shat the shadows. And then a little bit of purple at the bottom where it's darkest, okay? That looks like a shadow for our snowman. And his snowflakes are just going to be like little X's and then we, and then if you want different length and then we make those little, and you do different size snowflakes Okay, 
okay and they're kind of you start out with an X and then you draw a line in the middle and then you do these little curve lines to make it look like a snowflake okay that looks great I look forward to seeing yours when you finish your snowmen.